Hey, how's it going everybody? This is just some random ASMR. And this is the ASMR play of Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Found Kingdom. I'm actually redoing the first part because it was very hard to hear me in that first part over the music. So I thought I should redo it. So, as long as I don't save, everything will be fine. So let's get right into it. The War Campaign Those who claim to control the gods are in fact controlled by the gods. Alexander Irvine, Philosopher Oh, this must be the lab mentioned in that letter you got. SIC Domino Labs. Yeah, this looks like the place. It's pretty far from the city. There's nothing else here. Doesn't the building look futuristic? SIC is a famous overseas game company, isn't it? It's a new game company that just started here in Japan, but it's already becoming a major player. Although it's relatively new, it's gotten pretty big by releasing a bunch of innovative games. They've been using 3D images and virtual reality research to create some amazingly lifelike environments. It sounds a lot like what Kaiba's company does. According to the invitation, they are doing exactly the same kind of work as Kaiba Corp. SIC has introduced cutting-edge technologies. <clears throat> to develop next-generation virtual reality technology, SIC hopes to work in the field of games to perfect this technology using the widely popular dual monsters. SIC plans to further develop the technology through gameplay. Their technological goals may be scientific, but if they're using dual monsters, I want to get a look at it. Me too, this is so exciting. But why do they send invitations to us? I think they sent invitations to everyone at Rank Level at the Duelist Kingdom and Battle City tournaments. In order to test a new duel simulator, Kingdom SIC is sponsoring a test trial and respectfully asked for your assistance in helping us make Kingdom the best game it can be. It also says to bring friends if you want. Naturally, I thought of you guys right away. And just so we're all clear, I'm here because I did so well in the tournaments. Oh yeah? Then where's your invitation? They must have sent it to the wrong address. Yeah, sure. At least we know that Yugi is here as a finalist. Yugi won. That's it. Come on, Tristan. I'll take you right here and now. Stop it, both of you. This is no time to fight. Look, there's someone from the lab waiting for us. Let's get going. You must be Yugi Moto. We've been waiting for you. Oh, uh, that's me. And these are my friends. Wonderful. Let's all go inside, shall we? Hey, Yugi, didn't you see this guy at Kaiba Corporation once? I think so, but all the people of Kaiba Corporation got the same kind of weird vibe. You are correct. I did work for Kaiba Corp. Ah, oh, jeez, you heard us. We're almost at the main lab. What in the world is... This is SIC's latest simulator. Code name? Kingdom. This is just a prototype. We're only using the dual disc for packaging reasons. It's all the original SIC hardware on the inside. Is this what you used to recreate the world of dual monsters? Yes, our tests of Kingdom have been very successful so far. We've constructed an entire fantasy world based on dual monsters. We'd like you to help us test the simulator by simply playing the game as you normally would. The simulator supports multiple players, so you'll be able to play at the same time. In multiplayer mode, everyone joins the game as a different game character. It sounds like a network game or something. These new games are so awesome. Kingdom is a fantasy world. The card monsters there are alive. You will all join the resistance and fight against the Empire, which is suppressing the general population. Of course, you'll all participate in the game as different characters. The game is currently set for a few hours and we'll be recording your play data from here. Cool! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's play! Heh. <laughs> yeah. This is so exciting. I wonder what it'll be like. Yugi. Does this seem on the level to you? Huh? What do you mean? This whole simulator seems... suspicious. You're probably just overreacting. Oh, it's about to start! After 300 years of ruling the Rondeville continent, the Sigvarth's empire is faced with a crisis. Since the 12th Emperor Heishin ascended to the throne, corruption and brutality have spread throughout the empire. 
the people suffering oppression, but their complaints have fallen on deaf ears. Heishin and a select group of his underlings have been living in a lap of luxury. Their lavish lifestyle is supported by heavy taxation, which has pushed most of the populace to the brink. People on the fringes of the empire have responded with rebellion and revolt. This uprising has extended as far as the northern part of the empire on the Vaxi Island. What's the matter? I don't know, but I've got a really bad feeling about this. Kingdom simulator overloved. Safety lock engaged. Beginning transition to mode 2. Transition to mode 2 complete. Kingdom simulator lock in mode activated. What's happening? Wah. E. Yugi. What happened? Lord Yugi. Lord Yugi, wake up, please. Lord Yugi. Ugh. Oh, my head. You seem to be coming out of it. Where am I? Huh? You're in the port city of Makad on the western edge of Vaxi Island. You lost consciousness suddenly. You just passed out right in the middle of our meeting. Don't you remember? Remember what? You appear to be suffering from memory loss. Let me explain everything as quickly as I can. Your name is Yugi. You're the leader of the resistance here in Makad. We were planning our next attack when you passed out. We've tricked the Imperial forces into splitting up. And Etos, the ruler of these lands, is left with few guards. It was the perfect chance for us to break the Empire's repressive hold, and we're just about ready to attack. Is any of this coming back to you? Anything at all? No, none of it. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. But it seems like I'm expected to take command of the Resistance. That is correct, Lord Yugi. You are, after all, Supreme Commander of the Resistance. Without you, we don't even have enough Marshals. You must lead on the front lines. Marshal? Oh dear, have you forgotten everything? Marshals are a type of general and are central for a battle. Marshals can control monsters and engage in battle by pitting them monsters against those of the enemy. Each monster has incredible power. Power equal to that of several thousand human soldiers. This is why the marshals hold the key to victory in any battle. However, the number of men with this power or monsters is small, including you, the resistance has but three. So you're telling me that I have this special martial ability? You have it in spades, sir. Although I'm afraid that your powers might be weaker in your current state. You will just have to get it back slowly in battle. In the beginning, I will assist your recovery, Lord Yugi. Remember that Imperial units usually have a marshal assigned to them as well. You will, oh, excuse me. You will need to get your battle instincts back if you're going to defeat the Imperial Marshals. For the time being, we need to finish planning our strategy and organizing our units. Come this way. Well, wow, this is a fight in the swine. I know. This is not like we have any control over the game. I think it's safe to assume that we're trapped in this fantasy game world. We must have been planning on using us as those lab rats from the beginning. I wonder if the rest of our friends are here too. It's likely. They're probably all just as confused by whatever character roles they've been going into as well. We've got to find a way out of here. I don't know how much of what the SIC tech use told us is true, but they did say that this is a game. Uh-huh. Then it's got to have an ending, right? Even if we play the game and clear all the levels, it'll lead to a way out. That makes sense. With help from the rest of our friends, I'm, we're sure to find a way home. That seems to be our best bet for now. Please look carefully at the map of Rendezvous. This is Makad, where we are right now. And this is the target of our next battle. We're going to liberate the rest of Vaxi Island. In order to do that, we've got to take control of Sugut, the provincial capital for the east. I'm not sure how to say that word. I see. Sugut is a large castle in the northern section. It's well defended and houses a large fighting force. We won't stand a chance if we attack head on. First, we've got to get there to provide up the forces. We should be able to lure some minutes away from the capital by liberating nearby lands. Places like Edos, Makad. 
and for already managed to thin out the defenses that were caught, let's attack and force and take our first victory. Okay, what should I do? We will direct your marshals on the field of battle and attack the enemy's main base, Lord Yugi. I'm, I'm certainly not as strong as you, but I will also command a team of monsters and assist you. Just remember that none of your other marshals are nearly as powerful as you are. They depend heavily on you. Your success on the battlefield is the key to the success of the resistance. There are many other details to plan. Let's start with organizing our units for the difficult battles ahead. What do you mean by organizing? As you may remember, I mentioned a little while ago that the enemy army had its own marshals. Only a marshal commanding his own monster stands any chance against an enemy marshal. No matter how weak a marshal may be, he may command up to three monsters. While fighting an enormous empire, the number and power of its monster units are just as frightening and enormous. We must organize our own monsters in the units so that we can combat, combat the enemy. Luckily for us, we have several monsters that are willing to fight for our cause. The first thing you need to do is organize the monsters into groups and then assign them to your marshals. Each group of monsters is called a team. Please try to remember that, Lord Yugi. Let's start assembling our teams, shall we? After the teams are assembled, it's time to send them to battle. When you're ready, please let me know. Also, pay special attention to the center monster on each team. This monster is the team leader, and the team's movement speed is determined by the speed of its leader. I understand. I'll start my assemb I'll start by assembling my teams. <coughs> okay. First thing that I'm going to be doing is doing this and this. Okay, that's all good. And let's go. The resistance is about to engage in its first battle. Let us take the victory this day. As you can see, there are four villages, including the enemy main base, Makad, and the base at Chakud. Thanks to our early planning, the main enemy force is much smaller than it once was, and it is not massed nearby. The ruler Itos has no idea that we're ready to attack. Let's take this chance to secure a position in the area. First, send someone to free the village of Rutham. It's not very far from Jakud. The village is filled with supporters of the resistance. It'll be a good foothold from where we can attack. As we free the nearby villages from oppressive imperial rule, they will offer us items and money. We need both these things to help build our, up our force, so we should try to free as many places as possible. Currently, all of our teams are holding position at Jakud. I'd select teams to send to battle from Jakud and send them to the village of Rutham. To send a team into battle, position the cursor over the town the team is in and press the A button. Then select a command for the team to carry out. Finally, move the cursor to the location you want the team to go and press the A button. This dispatches the team. Okay, it's time to battle. Oh my god, there's so much reading. Okay, so in the middle over here is where you can get a monster silver thing. I put Yugi in the middle because, or I put Karibo in the middle because Karibo is the fastest monster. Okay, we successfully freed Rutham. We're now we now have two footholds in the area. We're in better shape than the enemy now, but news of our attack has probably reached the main base at Makad. I've just gotten word from spies that there is troop movement at Makad. They will be headed here shortly. We can either build up our defenses and prepare for the attack, or try to free another village. What would you like to do? It is much easier to meet an enemy from a village or castle than in the open fields. And here we go. A grrr. Is it an ambush? A guar. Okay. I could probably quite literally guard this entire time and still win. Well, he waited. He's still waiting. And he guarded. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're already at 2,300 points just from Guardian. That's hilarious. And people don't able to break the guard either. The guard did wear off after that, but look at that, we won just by guarding. For this first fight with um, Silver Fang, you can literally just guard and win the fight. Okay. Normally, you should definitely take this bottom one as well, but currently I'm not. I'm on a bit of a time crunch at the moment, so I'm just trying to end this as soon as possible. It's time to attack the enemy's main base. You cannot defeat an enemy in its main base or town or castle simply by fighting better than them. You must force the enemy to flee or defeat all of the enemy's monsters in order to win. It is difficult to defeat an enemy in their stronghold unless you surround them and attack in waves. Be careful not to chase your enemy too far. They might be leading you into a trap. You insolent runt. Just who do you think you are? Guards, where are my guards? You have the only one left now. Prepare for the end. Ah, traitors. How dare you revolt against the Empire? I'll take some of you with me before I'm done. Yeah, after we beat them, it is implied that we straight up murder them. I'm not even joking. to attack. I hear he's actually losing as well. Yeah, the first mission when you do a brand new game is actually I wouldn't say it's difficult, but it's it's something all right. And boom goes the dynamite. And he survived, so that is exactly what I didn't want. And we still lost. Wow. Okie dokie. And yeah, there it is. Normally I would fight this guy, but seeing as how I basically just remade this part just because of how bad the last one ended up, I'm just gonna escape. Yeah, there are some points where escaping is pretty easy, others where it's not. Okay, come on. Okay, sorry, I know you're, you're, you're still not even done being paralyzed yet. Okay. Right. 
I apologize for any background um, noise any of you might hear. I'm hoping the music from the game can actually drown it out. So when you first start the game though, you do use Team and Silence Team both have two good monsters and one iffy monster. Fizdiz's team has one good monster and two iffy monsters. Well, I would say one good monster, one iffy monster, and one monster that's straight dog dookie. Even though, like, I legitimately really like the Penguin Soldier. He's just not that good in this game until you can get items, and even then. Simon's actually doing pretty well. Simon might actually be the one to get the kill. I mean, not, not this song, not this round, but the next round, possibly. I should have attacked the bug with this little dude. Okay. Yeah, this one actually might not have mattered, but I'm not too sure. Okay, GG. Let me back to blow up this one again. I'm just gonna run again. I apologize to anybody who might be watching this first part and being like, oh, why are you running from you? You know, why are you not doing everything? This is more so just because, like I said, I'm, you know, redoing this part. Because I got other things, other parts of the game that I really want to get to. Okay, you made it. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Well, my original part one was over 30 minutes long. No, oh, jeez. You should be able to break the guard health at Guardian. Good. First mission is complete, and we get a second monster out of this. Makad was liberated. A splendid victory, Lord Yugi. Our actions here have stirred the people in these lands to fight back against the Empire. The noble families in the area are offering to assist us financially. If we continue to win like this, the resistance should grow nicely. The Empire is confused right now, but it's only temporary. They'll soon send units to hunt us down. Let's take this opportunity to secure our positions and fight off the enemy. Now, it's time for you to make an appearance, Lord Yugi. The people want to meet their savior. And we basically stole the Blackland Fire Dragon. Well, I think it's more so this Blackland Fire Dragon was like, oh, these guys are weak. And we got the monster reborn and two blue medicines out of that. And a little bit over a thousand gold. Fury of the Empire. Yugi's resistance army decides to undertake its next mission before the Empire strikes back. Heh. <laughs> Good movie. We still get confused about what to do. The resistance plans to free a large agricultural village in the south. Our success in freeing the Makad area has strengthened the termination of the resistance. Let's strike the stores of the Imperial forces while morale is high, so we can cut them off from their supplies. The southern part of the island is mostly farmland. The Empire works most of the farmers like slaves. If we can free this area, all supplies to Suga will be cut off, and will gain a significant advantage. However, General Sebekel, one of the fiercest generals in the regular Imperial army, appears to be in the area. Sebekel is a dangerous foe, well known for his ferocity. 
I don't believe he has a large force with him, but we should still be careful not to make any mistakes. That reminds me, I believe we received some items in our last engagement. You can use those items by keeping the monsters with them. Just remember that you can't change your mind once you send a monster into battle. When preparing for battle, think carefully about which item you give to which monster. And there we go, that's the end of this part. And I'll catch you later in if you're part two if you're watching part two or the current part that we are on. Thank you guys for watching. This was just some random ASMR. And this was the ASMR play of Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Crown Kingdom. Part one. Kinda. <laughs> catch you later.